drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how, how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekends. We drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. You won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? That was What's up, fanatics? Welcome to a special Stranger Things Season 3 episode of the Funko Funcast. We're throwing everything out the window this time. This is your host, Sully. This is Hillary. It's Ashley from work. A filthy sack of spoiled flesh plops onto the chair. Well, the mass moves and shifts, leaving greasy marks on the chair seat. It releases a grumbling groan. <clears throat> My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, and our wonderful listeners. I have been living in VR for the last 24 hours, and I forgot how to demon... Oh. I am Dima, I think. Hello. De- Demon's a verb? It, it, to de- demon? To demon. I thought that you demon. were going to read your entire intro upside down. <laughs> oh, and backwards. You better put some of this text on the, uh, on the uh, yeah, social upside feeds down upside down. Text. I don't oh, even know yeah, how to do, do that. that. Mm-hmm. You type a generator. in a generator oh. and then copy and then paste. Oh, yeah, we need you, to be doing that. Yeah. If you dangle upside down and type like that, yeah, that's will the keyboard? how the professionals do it. Yeah, like ba- professional bats. Mm-hmm. We uh, <laughs> we're missing one single person. He was lost in the upside down. Yeah, yeah. there are no parents AKA today. meetings. Yes, I'm yeah. putting my head on the side. We're not sure. His, we have. If he's coming out. He needs to be here so he can tell us when he gets like that chill on the back of his neck. He's the will. No, he's not. The, he's not the will. Somewhere who would we be? Up. Who Ooh. who would we be well, as I've, characters? I think I'm Hopper. <laughs> oh. I don't want to be, but I think I am. Oh. Um, who are you? I don't know. I want to know who you are, and then maybe I can decide who I am. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you're saying I feel like that. I would probably be Max, maybe, or Max. we'd both be Max. Yeah, I don't know. Probably Max. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Two Maxes. Two Maxes yeah. Max, don't Max. make a right. Yeah. <laughs> who are you, Dima? Uh, probably some rock somewhere. A I'm rock? rock? Yeah, I'm like on the background rock. You're a Demodog. I was going to say Demodog. Sure. A Demogorgon. A dog, though. I like him. You think the he's dog? He's not quite on. He's I don't want to hurt people. That's the like thing, though. Dima would be Erica. <laughs> what? Erica? Yeah. Oh. Just sassy AF. Erica, the little uh, the little girl that wore you the headlamp and crawled spell through the ducks. America without, without Erica. Erica. Well, because she like doesn't realize that she like she's a nerd and she's really good at math and but she's cool. She's really good at math. Yeah, I she, liked her better than Lucas, to be quite honest. Well, Lucas, I don't think they give him enough lines. They like do, he just—they yeah. don't Lucas really develop his character very much. Like, and that's how I felt about Max in the last season. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to know her, and then I really got to know her in this season. So I really, really like her as a yep. character. Me too. But I didn't really care for her in the last season because she just kind of stood there. How small of a space would you be comfortable to crawl into? Oof. Actually, those vents were huge. Uh, yeah, they might have been a little bit. A little too I would be, except for the vent out of the um, out of Scoops Ahoy. Yeah, that mm. was nice. Because that was the only one Erica could fit yeah, in. Remember right? Dustin yeah. and his badunk tried to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Touch my butt. And his badunk. I think badunk. I don't think I'd be okay in that, but I would be. To- it was like a living room in there. Yeah. It was so big when they when Turn they were right. Well, before we get too much further Sorry, into this, because we dove <laughs> yeah, right we in, yeah. we're excited. That's why we're doing this. We haven't done one of these where we've all watched something and been able to cover it in a while. And I'm drinking coffee. That's oh, it's gonna get At it's gonna get amped as we go on. In the I mean, no, I'm not sleeping tonight. It's a cold Ooh. brew. It's a cold brew. I'm Ooh. having a 4 p.m. cold brew. Real soon. So this whole episode is gonna be uh, talking about Stranger Things season three. Spoilers. We're going to have major spoilers. Major all the spoilers. spoilers. If you spoilers. haven't seen it yet, stop now. Watch it all on Netflix. Yes. Binge it. And Spoilers. then come back. Which, did you guys see that Netflix reported that 40 million people started the series wow. over the fourth and half of them finished it? Wow. Ooh. Which they yes. never ever give out numbers. So that's I was one pretty of them amazing. That yep. Same. Mm-hmm. We're the winners. I finished it we on 4th of July. It took me three days. But yeah. yeah. Kudos to you half who, who finished before the weekend. I think that um, Dima kind of made us wait. Yeah. I, I didn't want to go through the whole thing like one sitting. I like doing that. Eh. You, you gotta I let, can't like sit last for that long episodes, either. Last episodes, you gotta let it breathe a little bit. You gotta like build up the excitement. Yeah. Last, like, Think about episodes. it. Yeah, like you no. Know, oh, what's gonna happen? Otherwise, you just eat the whole candy and then you just have a sticky mouth. Oh, I, that's how I like to eat candy. True. Sticky, old, old sticky, sticky mouth. Sticky mouth. Old sticky mouth. Old Kit-Kat. sticky mouth. Four Kit Kats. You eat three, you leave one for the later. Oh, not one. You have to have at least tears. two. 
You are a demi dog. Yeah. A, mm-hmm. di- a demon dog. Demon dog. Oh. A demon dog. A demon Where dog. Oh. 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 So we're just gonna have a general conversation <laughs> about it. Then I do have some talking points, and then at the end we are gonna talk a giveaway. What do you want to talk about? To, I had to wiggle the giveaway in. I did want to read something that I read first, taken from the New York Times, which I thought was really good by uh, Scott Tobias. Oh, we read newspapers. Huh? Just, just, just one little <laughs> oh, wow. intro, right? I like to look wow. at different articles to see what their talking Kick points were. I, I'll admit, I steal. Did you pick that up at the grocery store? The newspaper. Uh, I please. This uh-huh. was digital. Oh, okay. Please, sir. <laughs> did you sir. paper? Uh, The creature in the third season of Stranger Things is a grisly, fearsome, overpowering amalgam of borrowed parts created from the melted-down essence of other beings, which is to say the creature is Stranger Things. Okay, well, that just kind of gives it away. I mean, we're talking spoilers. I know, but I mean, I'm saying this article alone. Just that Nobody reads papers. I just like the way he uh, summed it up because I, I was looking for what what was a quick synopsis that you could give for the whole season for someone who did watch it just to get you in the yes. mood to talk about Stranger Things. So here we are. We already started talking about what are some of our favorite moments were, some of the things that we liked. Overall, where do you rank these episodes versus the first two seasons? Uh, uh, amalgam. What is that exactly? Amalgam. Um, a culmination. Combination Culmination's of good stuff. word, yeah. Mm-hmm. Things brought cool together. Word. It is a good word. Amalgam. I have to remember that. Now my vocabulary is 2001 word. Wow. <laughs> That's a good Scrabble word good right you. there. It is. I'm all game. What, I, what, what else can you make out of the word? Can you make gam, lam, gam, lama? Glam? Glam. Glam. Glam, lam. Glam, lam. Maglamama. All right. <laughs> Maglamama. Maglamama. Steering <laughs> Shawshank back. Redemption. <laughs> what did y'all think about this overall season? Did you like it? I loved, I loved it. it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It felt like... The first two seasons felt like a show that took place in the 80s, but this felt like... You were there. It was referencing movies from the 80s. Yes. Because it had some of those like way over the top elements like that Arnold Schwarzenegger guy. God. You know, it just felt like you were watching... And the dialogue and stuff, it just felt like you were watching a movie from the 80s, and I really liked that. I think I was in the opposite camp. I, mm, I, I, I was enjoying it. I didn't love it. That's Could that have know. anything to do with like the no, it, Russians? No, no, it has nothing to do with it. I, yeah, I was thinking Soviets. of you the whole time. Soviets. <laughs> I, well, I'm sorry. I'm referencing their word. Yeah, Yeah. well, there's... A, Where did anyways. you like it in comparison to seasons one and two? Um, One was nine and a half out of ten. Two was uh, eight and a half. This was yeah. probably... Uh, Six and a half for me. Wow. wow. Really? I actually, I liked it's it way more than the second season. Same. I thought the second season was I don't know. weak. It was just kind of not enough supernatural stuff for me. Like, it's all dealt in this realm. Like, there's not enough of the Really? Because the there was, side. like, all of the, like, rat stuff. You mean, you mean that, like, it was just too... It wasn't, like, spooky, like, with the yeah, ghost kind yeah. of stuff? Are you saying there's not enough into the crack? Yeah, yes. that's... That, we totally. need some of the crack business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... I liked it because it made me really nostalgic for the mall. Yeah, and I like that part too. It made me really feel like it's summertime, yeah. and I don't know that all of that. It made me wa- feel. Ab- it made me feel like how I felt in the eighties and nineties as a teenager in the summer. They See, I don't have. I don't have that, that background, yeah. so to me, I, yeah. I didn't feel any of that. And I'm like, oh, I want to go to the opposite side, the upside. That could be why you sure. were partially removed so from I'm it. I'm like, eh, it's all right. Yeah, they they did a wonderful job of capturing what a mall was like. They, like, did you see the scene of how busy the mall it was? was? Oh, so it was busy, so busy, awesome. and I yeah. was like, I would have oh my loved gosh. to have been an extra there. Me too. Oh, that'd be so cool. Where would you guys shop? Which what store would you be in? Hot hmm. dog on a stick. Be in the Gap. <laughs> <laughs> you're not buying clothes. You're buying food. That would be classic fun cast. I would uh-huh. go to Scoops Ahoy. Scoops Ahoy for sure. For sure. Yeah. I mean, if are you saying if I were a teenager, what would I be doing? Yeah. Okay, he I would be sitting where that where like Erica and her friends were sitting. Okay. Like yeah, that you're was just walking me the mall. Yeah. yeah, you're walking the mall. You don't have money to buy anything, so you're just walking around yep. and like getting ice cream. Do you yeah, the food some... court was where it was at. Yeah, yeah. that's where that's where you gathered. Yeah. And as a person were... that has worked in a lot of malls, yep. it's like those kids are annoying because they just come in, you know, unfold your clothes mm-hmm. and that was mess me. with your shoes, hey. and then they leave, or they buy a pair of shoelaces. I no money, but I'm rent. here. ADS and all of that. I'm just here to look at boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey. That's the whole point You're of being at the woman, mall. Hillary. That was when I was 14. <laughs> I hope you weren't married at 14. Nope. 
<laughs> yep. I worked at a mall in the 90s, but it was an outdoor outlet mall, so it didn't have the same oh, feel. No. But like there was the food court was where it was at. You had you inevitably had the bushes and the planters with the seats around mm-hmm. them, mm-hmm. and that's where people got together. And then then at Christmas there was always 10 times more going on cuz you had the Santa and all that. Uh, but this was this was midsummer. They were all sporting the the shorty shorts. The clothing in this movie was amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was like the so clothes, good. So awesome. Yep. It made the, me really excited, and I want to buy a romper now. Yeah, was but just, I can't wear them because my torso is too long. You're going to get a, <laughs> like a special snake. Soups Ahoy one? <laughs> snake with the legs. I can't. <laughs> I, thought, I can't wear them. I thought for sure when we had the pops uh, of them in the Scoops Ahoy outfits that that would be just a couple scenes. Oh, no. But they, they wore that the whole scene. Committed. That's what yep. they wore the entire thing. And so now it makes me really excited about like fun days from last year yeah. and how we had some of those exclusives. It makes me like want to collect some of those that I ne- didn't necessarily care about at the time. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> well, you remember when season one came out, we had the SDCC exclusive of Steve with the bat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like it was one of the last things left in the booth. And then season two came out, he redeemed himself, and everybody all of a sudden wanted oh, the Steve. Everybody problem. wants it, yeah. yeah. That's so what happened. Missed out changed. on uh, Billy and Karen, that exclusive. Uh, I know, I did too. I got that one. <laughs> that oh. scene was hilarious. Which I, one? Oh my gosh. When uh, like you know the the bill is coming and everybody's oh. like, I wanted to grab a chair. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> what is, what's her last name again? Wheeler. Oh yeah, N- nice new Mike's suit, Mrs. Mom. Ms. Wheeler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I like I, I like her jazzer size like uh, promo that Netflix put out like as you're binging, make sure mm-hmm. you stretch. Yes. That was really good. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Yeah. And they had names for them all. Yep. <laughs> it really good. makes me so when we started now i want to rewatch the season mm-hmm. is that weird yes, no no we weird. were just talking about this oh now i want to rewatch it because it just made me feel like really excited about the mall and when i when we started watching i looked it up because i was like is this a mall that did they recreate it and can you go there so i looked it up but they only rebuilt like a small section of the mall and the rest looks pretty much abandoned the rest looks like russia there was abandoned. actually <laughs> there was actually a photo a day entry during our the summer one, someone found where they filmed. It doesn't say Starcourt. It says something else. Yeah, it's a different mall. I think but it's they, in Connecticut. They drove by and held the pop out the window and took the photo. Ooh. And it was, I That's thought that was so cool. good. Yeah. But I just wish as a promotion that they took one of these like malls that maybe not isn't doing as well. Yeah revamped it to be the eight can you imagine if someone just took a mall revamped it to be the 80s or 90s and had all of those stores and that kind of clothing how much money it would make because people would just go there it would be an event yeah it would almost be like a theme park it'd be mm-hmm. a theme park yeah. and then you could shop and it would i w- that would be amazing and then the movie theater could play 80s movies i wonder like uh mall of america you know there are yeah. those that are still in existence and still thriving because all the smaller ones that didn't have all the stores died out i wonder what in mall of america if they could have done something for that would have been just yeah, outstanding i they just could have redone a whole floor that's yeah. like four or five i can't even imagine Goody. like the legal fees because you have to like break the uh, oh, yeah. contracts and See, like you have to like close the store for like two months. Okay, of but yeah. hear me out. What if we? What if they did it? A part of the mall, just a portion of the mall, but they used all the stores that are still around. Like yeah, and Orange just go Julius to their brands is still yeah. there. Yeah. Their yeah. logos at that time. So yeah, label them for yeah. a little while. Yeah. yeah. And maybe have like one or two exclusive items, like the Gap. Maybe they have like a pair of jeans or a Levi's romper. came out with uh, pretty much the same outfit that Eleven had on that yellow shirt. Yeah, you can pretty much you can buy like her exact outfit. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I think it's possible to do a smaller scale version, but I think it would be cool just to have like a back like a back in time destination shopping experience and maybe you don't even have them like you don't have the names maybe they're not branded and it's just feels like you're in a mall from a different time period like a 50s shopping experience i don't know it just sounds it would be cool like a department cool. store if we'd have known more about this this season last year for fun days we could have had those facades of the different stores like as you went into the main oh, yeah. hall i mean we still did a pretty awesome job yeah uh recreating that 80s vibe for totally. the whole thing that was a lot of fun we were that just ahead really, of our time that was a really fun fun days it's, it's in, in the name, name of the, of the place <laughs> but like and it makes me excited for this year's fun days because Tiki Fun Days. It's like just a summery themed. Yeah. It kind of has the same '80s feel to it. And I'm, I'm going to show up sunburned. I'm just. I'm already going to be sunburned shorts. probably. Yeah. I'm excited about not wearing a tuxedo. Oh my gosh! That was fun. Yeah. It was hot. It was toasty. Yeah. More toasty than I want to be in San Diego. Can you have <laughs> a <laughs> room? Can you have a painted on tuxedo? 
Uh, oh, you could. And then be nothing the else. I don't know. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. <laughs> nice. All right. We do have a limited amount of time today because yeah. we are prepping for SDCC. Uh, I, I do need to get back to Funcast at SDCC at some point. But let's keep talking about uh, Stranger Things. Favorite moments. Do you have some favorite moments out of the season? Uh, my favorite moment is when Eleven and Max are shopping together. That was good. Yeah. The montage. Yeah. When they're just at the mall having fun. I really like Steve and Robin's dynamic throughout the whole series. That was pretty good. And then also like Joyce Hopper and Smirnoff. I liked that trio as yes. well. <laughs> Smirnoff. <laughs> yeah. My favorite one when uh, was when Eleven had a cut in her uh, leg oh. and they had to like, dig in there. <laughs> I was like, yes. Oh, that was hard to watch. That was it kind of was hard to watch. amazing. It's like a Saw movie that in the middle. Cool. It was. That was when, cool. When, uh, when he dug around yeah. there and then he, he finally pulled it. his hand and was like, oh, she should do it with her mind and then she immediately did it yeah. and I was like, oh. oh. I don't imagine, I don't, I don't really get her level of effort sometimes and that was one thing that kind of bothered me with this season is like, it was really, it took a lot of her energy to get the thing out of her leg and then sometimes it'll take her a lot of energy to like, move something but then doing it doing something even harder at other times is really easy it well, seems like she, well, she didn't even have it at the she, end she has so. to yeah, uh, she has to concentrate to do this stuff when you can't really concentrate when you have to yank something out of your body okay, and it I really could, hurts i could see that but then there was one time where she like maybe it was because it was towards the end and she yeah. was like starting to lose it yeah maybe it was just harder but i feel like she was using it a lot yeah so yeah i think some that has something to do with it my but. wife watched part of season one, didn't see season two, and then came in the middle of season three. Like, this is wow. how you should not no. do it, right? And she comes up, she goes, Hardcore. how many times is this girl going to bleed from her nose? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be good for her. And I was like, yeah, you're absolutely she's, right. At some point, she's going to lose it. And look what happened. She's not allowed to have commentary. Nope. If she, <laughs> she, she did it all wrong. And she'll blame me because we started watching season one together, and then I couldn't wait because mm-hmm. she was working. I was like, well, I'll watch it, and then we'll come back around and watch yeah. it together. I'm more than happy to rewatch it with you, right? I was, but we did so uh, I watched season one twice. I've seen it twice. Uh, did you have a fam- favorite moment, Dima? Th- that was that was it. The one the digging, leg digging okay. the digging the thingy. Did you have a favorite moment? I really just dug. The overall season had a nice pace. Dig, dig. It was always up high as far as the action, yeah. the comedy. Oh all yeah, that. but I really there. just dug the whole underground Russian thing with yeah. the long tunnels so that were like ten miles long, and those uh, those interactions and fights. When Steve wins the fight and Dustin loses it, that was great. That was amazing. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like got his stats. So you're zero for two, buddy. Yeah. Tima, you were saying that um, when uh, Alexi and um, Alexi. Alexei. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Just smear sorry, off. guys. Sorry. <laughs> Alexei and Joyce are in that, um, in the like little car thing. Mm-hmm. And they go up, or not, it wasn't Joyce, it was Hopper, that they had like a pretty genuine um, mm-hmm. conversation with the Soviet guard that was. Wasn't that the other guy? The, um, the translator? What was his name? Alexei. No, no, the, the, uh, the other guy. With the, the beard. Conspiracy and the guy. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah. it was the conspiracy the cutoff guy. Shorts. I forgot the yeah. guy that um, that speaks Russian. Mm-hmm. Of course, he's not on my list. But it's him and Hopper, and mm-hmm. they're in the car, and they're. I like, liked pa- that. That was funny. yeah. They're like trying to pass off as the Soviet soldiers because yeah. they stole the uniforms, and you said it was a pretty genuine like yeah conversation. conversation. Because a lot of like uh, Russian dialogues. Uh, when they translate it, they literally like pervade them to say like, "No, how are you doing?" And you translate it's like, "How are you doing?" And like, this is not how Russians talk. And like in this. Uh, there are some dialects where, like, this is only being able to. Re- uh, this has been written by a Russian person who knows like all the little Good. quirks and like know what to say, like an an age enunciation of certain things. So it's like you know, not just like how you doing, but it's like how are you doing, you know. That's so, good. Like, the, all those little tiny things. I was like, oh, that's that's good. That's yeah, because I'm sure that you've talked about it before. That drives you nuts when movies oh, over yeah. ham the yeah. the Russian or the Soviet in there. And yeah. you and you said also said that like not everyone was Russian. Yeah. That that were supposed to be the Soviets in the show, but there were some people who were Russian, mm-hmm. and so that made a huge difference because the accent was a little bit more mm-hmm. legitimate, which was kind of nice that they did that and that there were some exchanges that were more authentic yeah. is, I think adds to the show. 
It's so funny. We each have our own life experiences, then, so we watch things in different ways. Like I played in orchestras for years, and every time I watch somebody play a musical instrument in a movie or a television show, it drives me insane. Yeah, right? Because they're never <laughs> on. Like they're always the bows going at the wrong pace, yep. or it's off, and I'm like, oh, they couldn't, they couldn't give them five minutes of training to play this. It's you know, like not even touching the strings. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you, your fingers are way down there. You're making it's, this low it's tone. It's a banana no. blowing in trombone. <laughs> No, I totally. So I played viola for a while, and sometimes the bow is like all the way up on the neck, and it's like that is not how you play. No. Somebody couldn't walk on. They couldn't have like. A, yeah. They do it on an ER. They had a doctors on standby that would come in and go. No, no, that's not how this would go, or that's not the words you would use. Well, there was um, Dima and I went to see Ghost Protocol, Mission mm-hmm. Impossible, Ooh. and that took place in Russia, and they showed like the city, the mm-hmm. street. And he was like, the signs don't make any sense. Yeah, it's just like random letters. It was just letters. gibberish. Really? Mm-hmm. It was just yeah. random letters. And we were like, who, why aren't they? find a single Russian <laughs> I have no in? idea. <laughs> work on a signage? I don't know why. How many millions of people are in Russia? Like, you yeah. could just send me the, the, uh, the video. I'd be like, you want me to just add like a sign over there? Like oh, saying man. bread? You know, yeah. Or, <laughs> or I know. a store? At my previous job, we had a uh, translator that spoke great English and Spanish. And so she would translate all of our uh, marketing documents that went out. She left and they hired that out to somebody else. And when it came back, the people who spoke Spanish would read it and go, this is like actual Spain Spanish. This mm-hmm. is not Texas yeah. Spanish. This doesn't make any sense. This isn't how we do it. They end up trying to hire back the woman who spoke both, uh, but it didn't work yeah. out. Oh, it's like this little nuances here and there, but... Yeah, you gotta get so it right, difference, though. I mean, though. I get it. This is like a show t- supposed to entertain and everything, so... We're not supposed to look too too far Yeah, but like, I just don't want people to think like, oh, this is what Russians were back in the 80s. I'm like, but no. I think that that's or why, Soviets. But I think that that's kind of why it worked for this because there was that fear with the cold war mm-hmm. yeah so i think that's why it worked for people to be to not really know because people didn't really know back and then in the 80s true. the kid dustin specifically made a reference to red dawn which mm-hmm. if you've ever seen red dawn again we had the ignorance about who the russians really yeah. were but there was that whole cold war vibe yeah. and so that was his reference to russians in that he had this reference from another movie did you know that in Russia, during the Cold War, or actually in the whole Soviet Union, in the, during the Cold War, there were not a single movie that portrayed Americans as a bad enemy. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Ma- maybe there's like maybe one or two, but something. <laughs> but like it's usually... It's, Meanwhile, uh, we were Russians cranking out helping. three a summer. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah it's, like, it's, it's usually like, you know, <laughs> yeah. working together on something to solve something. And That's nuts. Yeah. So it was just interesting. It was just like American fear at the time. Yeah, just fear. <laughs> So I feel like in each of the seasons, I have had a different favorite character. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have a favorite character this season? I, I I feel like I had several. Yeah. Um, I really like Robin and Steve, and Max and Erica. Fair, y'all. Billy, Robin, and Joyce were my top three, and it's interesting because I did not like Joyce at all in season one or two. I thought her acting was poor in both those seasons, but I thought she did really well this season. I really like the Max and Lucas interactions. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. it was uh, more subtle. They never felt like a couple to me, though. No, me just felt like friends. Yeah, it felt like the very end of a couple. Like they had been going out a while, which you know, when you're that age, like a month is a while. I mean, I guess it's kind of like that when you're that age, though, too. Yeah, because that's it's true. Like your it's boyfriend, like you pick girlfriend. one. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's very bold, like you know, and just pushy. Oh and yeah, like, you know, let's go. And yeah, so it was just really interesting. I, really I don't know. It's like stuff. I felt like Mike and Eleven felt like a couple, just how they like they looked kissing. at each other. And well, that was gross, but <laughs> how they were looking at each other. But like I don't know, Max and Lucas weren't looking at each other like that. So, Not at all. Yeah. Oh, they were on the outs. Mm-hmm. I really dug Erica, I think, was my new favorite character Erica, of the season. Yeah. Uh, and I really enjoyed Robin. I I didn't know if I would. I thought, okay, this is a person they brought on the show just because she shares, you know, has the last name and she's kind of like yeah. uh, royalty of Hollywood. She actually did a, a fantastic job. She did, totally. yeah. I do, I have to just give a shout out to um, Dustin and Susie's. <laughs> Dusty Bun. Oh, Dusty Bun yes. and Susie. Oh, and their, their rendition. She, yeah. That, that was, was really so cute. Cool. Oh my gosh. As soon as they started ridiculous. singing, I was like, is this? Never ending story. And it's like oh. at the most <laughs> high tension <laughs> moment. So it was too much. I really like the scene when Dustin and the, the rest of the uh, group put the antenna on yeah. the hill and yeah. they shot like of them at nighttime. I was like, oh, this With is, the this city down below. This is I like that too. Shot. Like it was very Or I liked looking. when like you could see the um the monster like kind of taking out mm-hmm. the mall from that mm-hmm. point of view too. That was really cool. Yeah. This show had so much stars in the sky. 
like yeah like, no, they I, do I, that all the time i wonder how the technical <laughs> side like no because they had to replace the sky in all the footage because yeah. you can't get the actual footage like, so that's what's like after effects kind of like cg i love of. how they do that in movies though I'm it's like, so you so rarely see a sky like that, that it insane. would be like pitch darkness yeah you yeah. have to be in the middle of you know montana to, <laughs> to see something and not yeah, near a mall yeah not with star <laughs> yeah I, I drove from san diego to houston with a buddy after sdcc one year and in the middle of the night at like four in the morning we stopped and you looked up and you could see every star in that's the sky. amazing yeah and it's not like you can take a picture and capture it no you, you can't remember it's, it. it's for you only baby Long exposure. I think yeah. <laughs> and then they're moving. Sky. Very long. Yeah. <laughs> we already hit on quite a few, but did you, because there was some great writing on this season. Did you mm-hmm. guys have any favorite quotes that really yes. stood out or lines? I like that line where Dustin is telling Erica that she's actually a nerd. Yes. And he yes. goes into the plot points from the My Little Pony movie. <laughs> yes. I, mean, I loved that. He knows everything about the, and she's like, "How do you know about the <laughs> I My know, Little it Pony was movie?" Super surprising. <laughs> I'm a nerd, and it also made me realize how nerdy My Little Pony was, because I really loved watching that movie and that TV show when I was a kid, and I was like, "Oh, I guess there was like magic and stuff yeah. in that show that I forgot about." Dump your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Eleven like still didn't talk a lot. But I, that was that was pretty funny though. Yeah, her she's come along she through has. the seasons, but she still has a very basic education, very yeah. basic speech. Yeah. Uh, so you go ahead. I I don't want to take your uh, spot. As far as favorite quotes, yeah, I'll I'll jump in after you. I don't know. I, I wrote down a whole bunch of them. I I really like that you can't spell America without Erica. Yeah, that yeah. was really that's good too. That's because she out to just me. she just rattled that off. Mm-hmm. She had and then I like how Dustin was like. Well, yeah, that's true. That's absolutely right. <laughs> or when she's <laughs> like, <laughs> I got chills from the shake, not from what you just said. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. She was cutting people down left and she right. Was good. At the knees. <laughs> my favorite was the final letter. Oh, oh, my oh yeah. Gosh. I'm not prepared that to cry. Good. No. That, that was good. <laughs> that was I was hard. listening. I was like, that was a really well written letter. It very was. well writing, yeah. I did not expect that from Hopper, to be totally honest. It was very good. So, he just seemed really angry this season all the time. Yeah, I didn't like him in this season a whole lot. He was way too aggressive. Yeah. Like, I forget which celebrity uh, just recently in the last couple of days went on Instagram or Twitter and said, whatever you do, don't date a hopper. Here's oh, all that the was reasons. Evan Rachel. Um, yep, you're right. The Dolores. What is her name? Evan Rachel. Evan Wood. Oh, Rachel. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I retweeted that. I thought she was completely right. I thought he was funny. a total prick. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. He has like a teenager girl who just started experiencing feelings for a guy like he doesn't know what to do well it wasn't about that that bothered me it's just how he like bulldozed and and was angry and drunk most of the time yeah, yeah it just wasn't mode. a good look no I, I, I'm, 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 I'm helping yeah him out. i'm helping him out he was just in panic mode all the time i think i get that but it's still not an excuse to like oh it's not an excuse you no, know totally not badger people no, like, but he yeah. just like doesn't know how to deal with this he has his own emotions he has to go through just like I love but him. that seems to be like because from the first season the whole didn't the whole se- series start out with him just being really drunk and like yeah having like food all over him and uh-huh. he had to like get ready to be a cop in the morning and did yeah. or his sh- a sheriff shift or whatever didn't he lose a daughter wasn't that part of season yeah. one yeah so i think in season one it made sense because he was still dealing with that but it never i get uh, yeah oh, I, I guess you're right that. i forgot about that too yeah so that makes more sense, but it just seems Still, like that's like, is his he persona. Fit to watch Eleven, like, or to be not like the government was going to come in and yeah, take her away. Yeah, <laughs> maybe for experiments. <laughs> I I started a list once I saw an article and I looked a couple up. But what were your favorite like '80s and pop culture references? Because there were a lot. Was there things that stood out to you? Oh, uh, by starting first, go, go for, for it. it. We're just diving in. Watching Back to the Future on the big screen. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. That was yeah. so awesome. What was the other titles that were up at that same time? They um, showed it. Oh, Cocoon. I think Return to Oz. Cocoon. Cocoon. Yeah. Cocoon yeah. Um, I wrote down another one. Where is it? Uh, not Red Dawn. That was referenced. Oh, I had it. Come on. Anyway, there was another one. There. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's one true. of those things. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wrote down the references. Did, did you have any favorites that stood out? You too? I think the fashion and yeah. like the scrunchies. The was <laughs> Fletch. Fletch, that of was course. Yeah. That was on the screen. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, the scrunchies. And yeah. the, the suspenders with the, those high-waisted pants. Yep. <laughs> the jazzercise class was all pretty of, good. But yeah. that guy that they thought was a spy, and then he just <laughs> was like the instructor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carrying the boom box in the back. Yep. What psychopath does that? That was pretty good. He didn't want to get robbed. I really yeah. like the... Uh, the lifeguard. What's his name again? Billy. 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 I really like his tattoo, shoulder tattoo. It was, it was like, it wasn't small, but it wasn't big. It yeah. was just like in this awkward size where it's like, it's almost there. And that was not. his only tattoo. And yeah. his only <laughs> tattoo. I'm like, ooh, that is very like, actually knows it well. Right oh, I do. But he is yeah. a lifeguard. Oh, he he is. sure is. Yeah. So I and wrote wear down a pair of red shorts. I like he was oh. like bundled up sitting. <laughs> oh yeah, when he, I know he was such a creep there. <laughs> yeah. Like a, the white all towel sweaty. over. He was like, Yo, something's up. Yeah. <laughs> this guy has been shirtless all summer. You and know? now he's yeah. just like he's just like crumpled up just sitting there. <laughs> he's in the people. <laughs> just drinking pool chemicals or whatever he was yeah. doing back there. <laughs> So references I wrote down that I saw Terminator, that guy, every and then how 100%. many close ups of people's boots walking boots, into a room did we see? I saw many for it every time. Yep. Uh, at the mall there was Sam Goody, Orange yep. Julius, who already said that. Back to the future, Red Dawn, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, mm-hmm. Phoebe Cates. Day of the Dead was the mm-hmm. movie they snuck yep. into in the theater, uh, Fletch on the Marquee, Cheers, Joyce with a little flashback to Bob, uh, Ralph Macchio, isn't he dreamy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was in, like, the Teen Bot magazine. Uh, Beetlejuice, y'all were just yep. talking about today. Yeah. Never-ending story, of course, and My Little Pony. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there are so many more. Was that shot of, uh, inspired by E.T., uh, the one that we talked about earlier, with the, ra- uh, with the t- uh, radio tower on the hill? It looks very E.T.-like. It does look Big e- Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah like... That kind of feeling. It's like, oh, that's a T shot. Totally. Well, just the way they shot it, like I'll talked about at the very beginning, the way they shot it and mm-hmm. brought it together, it had an eighties feel. So yeah. of course you're gonna you're gonna nod to a Spielberg or any of the guys that directed in the eighties. Yeah. Spielberg's the only one I can come up with offhand. Uh let's see. What you got there? Is Hopper dead? No. Nah. No. No, I probably don't think so. not. I want him no. to be, but probably not. <laughs> I don't think he is. I don't I think they wouldn't have done that thing at the post credit scene. Yeah. And the even, American, and the even American? when they were hyping it up, trying to make everyone cry, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it for yeah. a second. Not for a second. I, I, uh, they didn't show him die. They refer to him as the American. Yep, yeah, yeah. you're right. They didn't show him die. You didn't see the, the dust. They made a big point earlier in those scenes about when this thing goes off, you're just going to poof, you'll be gone. Mm-hmm. Um, they would only call that out if it was going to play into the story for some reason. I Maybe feel like to trick people. Or? If they killed him off, they would have made it so dramatic oh, where his yeah. hand is oh, on the glass yes. and Joyce's hand's on the glass and <laughs> oh. then it becomes dust. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, Even that's totally what they would just do. Death. Yeah. yeah. I did read one theory that I thought was pretty interesting, and someone said, could the reference to the American actually be about mm-hmm. Martin Brenner from season one, Matthew Modine's character? They oh, never maybe. showed him oh. die. What if it's Barb? What if they brought him back? No, what, what if, if it's no Barb? Barb? Barb's toast. <laughs> she's just sitting there. She's like, ah! I Let think there's a out. greater chance that Barb is actually the Demogorgon we saw at the end. She was she was gone. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Justice for Barb. Barb for justice. I'm sorry. Uh, what did you say earlier? Who was it? Remember in season one, the white-haired scientist that was yes. like the yeah. head of that? They, they referenced him being dead, but I don't believe they ever showed him die or why, being why dead. Why would they bring him? Well, he was a pre- he's a pretty big actor, one, right. for something like that. And then two, a pretty a pretty uh, important character in Eleven's life. Right. Helped bring out her powers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now she's lost her powers at the end of the Maybe season. Maybe they'll bring him back. Would Ooh. be very interesting. How, right? how did he die? Can you guys remind me? Uh, they talked about it, and I don't, I don't remember. Either. Yeah. One thing I didn't like about this season is they didn't reference any of the other kids, like Eleven, with powers. Yep. Mm. Um, I I can't stand when shows do that. Like yes. I'm sure they like might episode, next yeah. season, but I don't like. There was no reference to it at all, and I get like they were trying to focus on like the summer and this you know certain time period and all yeah. that, but it's like I don't know. I thought that was such a big development in season yeah. two that just have, went nowhere. They could have had one of those characters come up to help her defeat it. Something. Yeah. I yeah. kept yeah. expecting that. Same. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and you could see throughout the whole season, like you could see her little Eleven tattoo on her wrist and stuff yeah. like that. So it was just like, what was the point of that? Like. Like, I don't know. Hopefully yeah. it comes into play in a future I think season, that but. might have come from fan backlash in season two about that one episode. The one common yeah. thing I've heard is everyone did not like that yeah, episode. Yeah, boring, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it was so left field. Yeah, yeah. it was. Such, and it then was, the, none of the other characters were in it, yeah. Right, but if you would have taken that scene and weaved it to do season three somehow, it'd be like, oh, now it's worth rewatching. Mm-hmm. It's just a standalone episode. It felt like an episode of Fringe. Oh, God. God bless Fringe. Shout know, out to Fringe. But, it, but shout friend. out to Fringe and... 
and the strain. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say shout out without saying the strain. Now it's impossible. Yeah. So where do we go next? If you if you had to envision, if you're the Duffer Brothers and you had to come up with season four to come out next year, where would you take the show? Well, the hmm. show with Emma Gorgon in the end, so... I think the show's going to take place with them, like, about to graduate in high school. Because um, all the actors are looking kind of old anyways. Yeah. So. They can't wear shorts anymore. Yeah, you know, they're all <laughs> hitting that age where... Yeah. The guy's hairs are going to start falling out before... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. I had read that um, they were planning on doing either four or five seasons. So It's okay. all the same thing. Yeah. yeah. But I think they, they might have ordered that in four or five seasons with the kids. Like, this, to me, this because a whole other universe. Could branch off to, you know, yeah. instead of Ooh. 11, it goes to 10 or whoever. Is it, is it, um, in, like, is it each year? So what, so this was 1985, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So it was the previous season 1984 and then 1983? I think so. Yeah, because I think at the opening, they actually start in 1984, Okay. And it, it all felt like it lined huh. up. Because I think it would be interesting if they... There's a big age gap if they started I know. in 84. I feel yeah. like it would be interesting they though were if little. they did like, <laughs> skip some years and then the last season, the last part of the last season went into the 90s. Or do like uh, It. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was yeah. going to be like an It yeah. thing. Oh, like they yeah, totally. have yeah. Fast up. forward and it's like 10 years ago, you know, 10 years past. But so it would be in the 90s, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If 95. I'm, yeah. If I'm Netflix and the Duffer Brothers, I would already be working on this universe theory. I mean, it's worked so well for Marvel and other other films or other uh, studios. Why not go ahead and bring in her sister that also yes. had the powers yeah. in a season that drops in a few months and has something to do with some of those same events that were going yeah. on? That'd be totally. Rad. I oh, that would be such a great like the way they dropped that. Um, Cloverfield movie after the mm-hmm. Super Bowl. Yeah. Yep. Just surprise everybody and continue on and just keep it big. That would be amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. But would you guys watch uh, Eleven's origin story? Like, I mean, ho- I think we saw I most we saw of the flashback. Well, like that, not just them, but like the whole organization. How? Oh, they feed certainly. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would, yeah. Yeah. I would watch a movie about that. Yeah. Or comics. Cool. I could do that in comics. Yeah. Yeah. Elzine. Uh, I do have one thing. Let's see. <laughs> Stranger uh, Zine. Stranger, Stranger Zine. Zine. That'd be I cool. forgot about Zines. Me too. No, forget the Zine. Actually, we we hit on everything on I table. was going to read as a as a finale there. Any other thoughts? Uh, I want to talk giveaway and fun cast, but before we jump on too far, the music is amazing. The There's music, is oh, great. music was really good. Yeah. Even the parts that they didn't get like the actual artist, but it was like yeah, inspired by inspired by yeah. Were, yeah. were still pretty good. The cars were great. Yep. They did a great job with all mm-hmm. the sets. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, carnival the was really cool, the too. Carnival the carnival was awesome. Was very there was another good. one of those 80s things. That, I know those still exist, but they don't They're have not the, the same. They're not the, the same. aura that yeah. they had then. That was actually something that you and the family went out to. Mm-hmm. I remember getting tickets yep. uh, either beforehand at a discount or at that little booth when you walk in. Yeah, we would do that every year. There would be the it, Tulsa it State Fair. a corn dog. It feels the same to me. And it was like, like a carnival. How, how was it different from... Today. Today, to me, they seem um, like it's just a traveling thing that hits a city for a few days in a weird spot. Whereas when I was a kid, it was like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I was a kid, but it was a big deal. Like it was, oh, the carnival's coming. Like we knew about it. I feel it like it's more like fairs now. It is fair. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah. yeah, I know they have a big one in Dallas every year. There's the Texas State Fair. I never got to go Minnesota to Minnesota State Fair is like, I think, the biggest one in the, the U.S. They have a lot of stuff there it might have just been me being a kid you know things are bigger when you're of course true yeah Yeah. totally they have a they seem to last a lot longer so we had the tulsa state fair every year and it was connected because we in my hometown we actually had an amusement park called bell's amusement park that was there all year round and it was i mean we had like three roller coasters it was a large amusement park and so they just built on to that and had some temporary rides but then the it was just like this amusement park slash state fair, so it was really big, and it also went in conjunction with the largest gun and knife show in the U.S. <laughs> so it was like right. always this like crazy extravaganza, like weird mix of different people and come out, ride the rides, have a corn dog, buy a gun, yeah. basically, yeah, no, sugar, that's, fat, and that bullets. Is to- <laughs> that's totally how it was. But it was so much fun, and it was weird, and 
But then that um, that amusement park shut down because people kept getting like seriously injured or dying surprise, on the rides. Surprise. Yeah. Oh, the rides, not the knives and guns. No, the rides. Gotcha. No. What was the ride? It, w- it was in the show, The Gravity, where you're yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I, we I had that. I loved that as oh, a kid. No, so I good. hated it. Oh, I, I loved it, and it would m- like push you off the floor yeah. a little yeah. bit because they'd roll. Yeah. But you, yeah. I remember, because we had that at Bell's Amusement Park, and there was just like a metal chain that yep. was nowhere yep, near you it. that was supposed to keep you in, but it, the gravity keep, keeps you in. Yeah. We didn't have a top on ours, though. Oh, well, it was just open, and then it would go, Topless? so it would spin, but then it You'd would the shift to yeah. the side, so then you're spinning vertically. And it was That's so many awesome. people threw up after that. Oh, I threw up oh, so oh, much you, after yeah. that. Never did. Never did. Hopefully not on. Yeah. Well, I didn't throw up in the ride because then you it's off. just a swirl of yeah. vomit, but no. Ugh. It's like you throw up and then you spin around and hit it again. It's not matter Rocco's modern life. Yes. <laughs> I caught my own. <laughs> Gross. Oh. Have you guys seen the video of this uh it's a pretty old video right now, but it's, uh, I think it's, she's a girl or a woman, but she's flying in the airplane. It's like an yeah, acrobat airplane, and it's like takes goes up and then immediately like dives down in the nose, and then she vomits, and all the vomit flashes in the face. It no. goes right in, yeah, because it's like zero gravity, and she throws up, and it's like floating there, and then it hits her in the oh, face. Gross. <laughs> and there's a lot of a lot of goop. Just, Oof. Ugh, gross. That's a bad day. Yeah, that's how not, that's how you don't do it. Anyway. <laughs> That, of course, to we're going to talk food vomit. or stuff like that. That's yeah. how they come. Yeah. This makes me want an ear of corn, a turkey leg, and a funnel cake. All while watching. Elephant or ear. Yep. Elephant, ear. Elephant ear. The bomb. Good stuff. Yeah. All I right. want to go to a fair. I think that wraps up our, our season three talk. Uh, we'd love to hear more from the fans. So for you guys, I have a little giveaway and an activity for you. An activity? What? An activity, you say. Activity. Uh, uh-huh. We're going to give away a prize pack featuring a bunch of Stranger Things pops and a social media Freddy. Uh, to do to, to enter, do like you normally do for the podcast, share a link to where you listen to this episode. Include the hashtag Funko Funcast. That's F-U-N-K. Oh. F-U-N-K-A-S-T. And in there somewhere, give a shout out to your favorite pop culture 80s reference uh, because there were so many especially if there's one that we missed in our conversation I'd love to see what you guys picked out of the show I'm sure there were plenty more uh, and get those tweets in we will pick the winner of the week after we return from SDCC question yes sir can I put a stranger thing in a stranger things pack Yo, absolutely sweet yeah <laughs> so you'll get a little something from Dima don't forget yes, it's going to be something I still strange. have a, a supply of forks I forgot to deliver out to somebody ah, All right. a stranger thing yeah mm-hmm. that's my that's my interesting mission. Hmm. That's on them. Let that be a mystery. And then if you've listened this far, chances are you're a Funcast fan if you made it this far. And San Diego Comic Con is next week. <sighs> <sighs> I'm not ready. It's less than a week away now. Oh, less yeah. than a week. You're right. Uh, In just a week, we'll be there. We will be there I'm a week from today. If you haven't seen it, by the time this goes out, or right about one week from the time this hits the waves. Mm-hmm. We will be in our live panel, <gasps> room 6A. True, 6A. That's Thursday Shouting. the 18th at 10 a.m. A thousand people can fill that room, and it would be it would be momentous if we could fill that room with all fanatics. Mm-hmm. He's weak, palm sweaty. I know, right? <laughs> I hope you don't have a table. I don't feel comfortable when there is no table in front of you me. You did say that. I, I right, is there no table the this stool. time? I do not know. I think there's a table. I like the table. You, you like People the table? don't need to see you. Somewhere to put your bows. Yeah. I don't yeah. like the table. I'd I rather like, be on no. a bar stool. I like the bar stool. I, l- I don't like the bar stool. Then my shoes show. Come oh. on. <laughs> we're just taking them off the table. Bring some, uh, bring some uh, oh, yeah. clips, and oh, yeah. we'll just clip the, cu- the little curtain, yeah. table yeah, curtain Yeah, we'll up. just, so that your feet show. Just yeah, stick them out the side. You can dangle those feet. <laughs> dangle them, Cameron dangle would them. agree with me. I know it. Dangle the toesies. I don't know. I'm dangle just afraid toesies. being on a bar stool, stool that I'll just fall off, off of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why. I almost did an ace. I know. The stool was coming apart under me. I know. Oh, yeah, you had a, yeah. And it wasn't weight. It was just the top of the seat top was not connected properly. Yeah, it wasn't connected. The only thing that will catch you is earth. Yeah. Not not have a good time. Time. I don't need to do that in front of people. No. I'd rather have a table and then there's a curtain so they can't see what happened back there. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. So I almost fell during Funko Hondo. Sally almost fell during the uh, Ace. Yeah. So Uh-oh. it's my turn. So it's. <laughs> uh, oh, it's going to be me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I'm always me. about to fall. Cameron, Ashley, or Hillary. Let's not. Let's I'm not. not. We're, fall. we're done. We're done. You're going to fall? No. She's too sly. She's got the reflexes of a cat. Cat. Whoa. I'm the furthest from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you got a long That's torso. To work <laughs> That's what you I look at. Torso. It. Mm-hmm. All right. I think it's time for us to get out of here. Any yep. final thoughts? Uh, Watch I it would again. Like Watch it again. Say thank you to everyone for listening to Funcast. Yeah, thank you for there listening. You All right. Let's sign off in, in three, 
two, one. Gotta go, go get Oh.